Yo, what is up guys, Anton here, back with another Destiny Child video, and in today's video everyone, we're going to be going over all of the mission pass missions, shop packages, and summons that will be ending with the upcoming maintenance. So first here, we'll get started with the mission pass, so let's get right into it. The first mission pass that will be ending with the upcoming maintenance, as you can see here, it's a day and 15 hours remaining for all of the mission passes, etc. So first here, we have the Child's Limited Time Missions Navi episode. So for this mission pass, basically if you were to uncap your Navi or was looking for a way to uncap your Navi fairly easily while paying the price for a package, you can see here we have a few packages here for 44 USD and on the left side here we have the rewards for this package. The first one is a wood 5 star summon ticket, we have some blood gems and some napping places and you can see on mission 2 and mission 4 you will receive a self depreciating navi and her spa skin etc. So this is a pay to play mission if you are looking to uncap your navi while paying some money. The next mission pass mission ending will be the land phase limited time missions. So if you guys have seen this mission pass before this one is for the stamina. So if you guys are in need of some stamina for the upcoming narrative dungeon that will be after the next Ragnar break etc. Feel free to purchase some of these packages. But I wouldn't stress this too much as I believe this package will be back next week. The next mission pass ending will be the Mona's limited time missions. So this mission pass costs $4.50 USD and you will receive EXP slimes for purchasing the first one. And after purchasing the first mission, you will receive all of the remaining mission rewards up until mission pass 14, which like I said, rewards the 5 star enhanced summon tickets. So this is a huge help if you don't want to level up your units in the story and just want to use some EXP slimes to get them to level 50 or 60 fairly quickly. The next one ending with the upcoming maintenance will be the Bari's limited time missions. So this mission pass is for the house of reincarnation. All you had to do was perform any type of reincarnation 20 times in the HOR and you would receive a 5 star summoning ticket as well as a fluttering sea tree hot spring costume. So if you guys had 20 reincarnations ready. You could have done it with the 4 stars, 5 stars, or 6 star child. You guys could potentially have received a 5 star summoning ticket as well as the fluttering sea tree costume. And we also have a ton of other rewards here such as perform them 5 times you receive a 4 star ticket and some onyx. We have a 4 to 5 ticket here and 25,000 onyx for 10 times. And then for 15 times we have 1000 crystals as well as 25,000 onyx. The next mission ending will be the Lisa's limited time missions. So we have seen this mission plenty times before. We have the clear story chapter 2 50 times for the first mission and it will go up all the way to 400 times total. So this is basically if you were to take advantage of a hot time weekend etc. They basically reward you for doing that. As you can see here, you gain the weapon crafting tools, armor crafting tools, and accessory crafting tools, as well as some suspicious ore for playing the story chapter 2 up to 400 times. So it's a great way to receive some free rewards for your equips if you guys are planning to use some stamina during hot time. Next here we have the Lisa's limited time missions ending. So this ended actually a few days ago as the world boss did end. So if you guys did play the world boss up to 30 times total, you would have received a 3 to 5, 10 times summon ticket as well as a ton of gold for doing so. Next here we have the Davi's limited time missions ending. So this mission is fairly simple and it comes around with every new unit. All you have to do is level up the Dancer Salon to level 50 or 60 and you guys will receive some crystals as well as a 5 star evolution slime and some 4 star napping places. Next up we'll be going over the events that will be ending with the upcoming maintenance. So first here we have the Moa Moa Paradise. As you can see we have 1 day and 15 hours remaining for this event. All you have to do for the Moa Moa Paradise is basically play the missions down here below. You can see use 300 stamina, play Rebirth Labyrinth 5 times, clear the Underground's 9th stage 1 time, and join Devil Rumble 3 times. And you would receive dice for completing those missions, and you can roll on the board. And if you complete a total number of clears, you would receive a set of wards. So it would start out with a 5 star equip ticket, and end with a 5 star summoning ticket. The next event ending with the upcoming maintenance will be the Devil Pass. As you can see here, one day and 15 hours remaining. Basically, all you have to do is complete the free side if you're not purchasing the Arc Devil Pass seal. 
and you will receive a 5 star summoning ticket as well as the 5 star soul card ticket etc. And all you have to do for the Devil Pass is basically complete your dailies and you will receive Devil Pass points to collect and it will rank up your Devil Pass tiers up until 30 if you play and do your dailies every day essentially. Next up we have the shop packages that will be ending with the upcoming maintenance. First here we have the 300% crystal package. Next up we have the gift box package, the 300 crystal bargain package, the onyx and gold package, the wood type midnight parade package, the navi packages 1, 2, and 3, the under the roses package, reincarnation support package, best world boss package, wood type summon ticket lucky box package, and the today's lucky box. Now if you guys were looking forward to buying some packages, I would suggest you to buy the onyx and gold package if you are in need of some currency as well as the wood type Marina parade package if you are in need of some lanterns. Next up we have the summons that will be ending with the upcoming maintenance. So first here we have the 6% summon that will be ending. We have the Daphnis guaranteed upon summoning banner that will be ending. We have the premium pickup summon for wood type childs. We have the premium pickup summon for Navi and Daphnis. Next up we have the premium pickup summon for the world boss pest units. We have the dancer salon pickup summon ending as well. We also have the self depreciating Navi guaranteed upon summoning banner that will be ending with the upcoming maintenance. We also have the soul card to pick up summon for the under the roses soul card that will be ending. And last here we have the blood gem pick up summon for wood type units that will be ending as well. All right everyone, after going over all of the mission passes, events, shop packages and summons that will be ending with the upcoming maintenance, we'll be switching over to desktop view, go over the destiny child boot page and see what will be ending as well on there. All right everyone, so here we are on the destiny child boot page. So the first event that will be ending here will be the low cost cosplay event. So all you have to do for this event is create a low cost cosplay and post it in the comments below as well as your account ID. And basically if you create a cosplay and post it down below with your ID, you will receive a 3-5 to five ticket just for entering as well as if you win the idea reward, low cost reward or the winner rewards, you will win 5 5 star summoning tickets for winning. We have the three five star summoning tickets for the low cost reward and we have the one five star ticket for the ideal reward. So if we scroll down a bit, we have some of the entries here. As you can see, we have the cat here. We have a guy dressed up as Bari. We have my entry here, which are the two star evil cubes. We have a Citra here. So basically all you have to do is create a low cost cosplay. As you can see, it's low cost materials here and create a little diagram of you making the cosplay and post in the comments below with your ID. You would at least receive a three to five, 10 times summoning ticket. And this will end on July 22nd, 2359 UTC. As for the last moot event that will be ending will be the recommended best quotes event. So all you have to do for this event is basically find a quote in the bar replay. As you can see here, we have an example of Lisa's. If you really want to thank me, do it by getting through this alive. And all you have to do is comment below with the quote as well as your account ID, as you, we can see some examples here. Toxic commented with their ID, as well as a Charlotte quote and a screenshot of the Charlotte quote from the bar replay. And if you do so, you will receive 300,000 gold just for participating. And the reward date will be on July 27th. All right, everyone, that'll be it for today's Destiny Child video. Feel free to let me know in the comments below if this video helped you out at all and let me know if you completed all of the missions and events in game. Before you go make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and you're enjoying the Destiny Child content. With that being said I'll see you all in tomorrow's Destiny Child video. Thank you all so much for watching.